Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today we're going to do some custom cards. Um, with all the stuff that was leaked yesterday, well not, well, yeah I guess it's leaked because Burza, Burza answered all the questions on his uh, Ask Me Anything on the forums. But there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on with Gwent with uh, new cards, new, new kegs, um, a new expansion. It's like, whoa, where, where did all this come from? So... Um, it's an exciting time for Gwent. Um, I like making the new cards, so the custom cards. So I figured I'd make a couple. Uh, one of them, the character's already in the game. Um, I just, I just really like the character. I think he's, he's just in the books. He's just misunderstood like the whole time, and it's like by the time he finally gets his, um. He's like redeemed in the eyes of everyone around him. It's it's already you know kind of too late for him at least. But um, and then the other one, uh, there's a lot of really badass women in Gwent. I mean, Siri is a badass. Yennefer is a badass. Triss is a badass. Um, Philippa is a badass. There's just so many you know really kick-ass women in in the Witcher universe. I, I think it's really cool. Um, and I'm currently almost done with Lady of the Lake. So I figured uh, this chick should definitely have a card. And uh, I think it gives Northern Realm something a little bit different. So there's a little bit of a hint. But first we'll go with the character that's already in the game. Uh, Kahir. I really like Kahir. Um, like I said, I, f I feel like he's just really misunderstood. Nobody understands like what he's fighting for. And... Uh, I just, I, I, I really like him. I, I, I think he's a great character. Um, but this is what I came up with. I came up with uh, Kahir Defiant. He's seven strength. And if this, if a unit on your side of the board is damaged, dole the unit doing the damage. So you put Kahir on the board. Say someone uses a trebuchet. It pings something on your side of the board. It's going to duel that thing and take it down. Um, if they have multiple trebs and starts pinging a whole bunch of stuff, he's going to keep doing it. Yeah, he's going to die. He's, he's going to get overwhelmed. But one by one, if you're just little by little pinging something, he's going to duel it. Um, he could still take out like a savage bear. If you put him on the board, savage bear pings him. He's going to duel him and take him down. Um, and... Northern Realms, or Northern Realms, uh, Nilfgaard currently doesn't have any dual mechanic guys, so I figured they could use one, and Kahir is definitely a, he's not a witcher, but he has, I think he has good sword abilities, I mean, he was, if he's able to hang with Leo Bonhart, I think he, uh, I think he can handle his own, definitely. I didn't make him too OP, and I made him, I didn't give him the armor regeneration thing like Sabbath has, but... The thing is, like, you could put this on a row, and then you could start using alchemy, you know, ales, and this thing is going to get out of hand really quick. Um, could he be broken with that mechanic? Uh, I don't know. Um, you do have a turn to deal with it uh, after the damage takes place. So, you know, once he does his duel, he's probably going to be at, like, you know, three or four. So it's... It, he can get taken out by like a, a battering ram or something like that. So he's not, uh, he's like, he's like Sabbath kind of. He, if, if you don't deal with him and you let your opponent get him beefed up, it's going to be a problem. So I think he's answerable, but he can also, uh, snowball into something really cool. And it, 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 it takes away from some of the other archetypes. Like it might even help out spies. Because uh, currently spies are kind of underwhelming, but, you know, having something on the board that's protecting your, your big stuff, maybe this guy can help you out. Um, let me know what you guys think of this one. I think it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I really like it here. I think he's a he's a great character. Uh, next one, this chick is a badass. That's all I could say. Um, Julia Abatamarco. I think I said that right. Uh, they also call her Pretty Kitty. Um, the art for this, um, uh, someone else made a card for her, and uh, I couldn't find any really good art for her that wasn't like pencil drawing, so I used this. So if you made the original card, um, 
shout outs to you um but uh i made her six strength she's a gold card and at the end of your turn all units on this row move forward one and deal one damage so yeah you could put her down on this row and if you got a full row at eight she's going to be 22 um i think that's uh i think it's fair um you're 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 also it, it's it's kind of like a it's a fine line because you're setting up units on one row and you might be setting up your own igni that row can get lacerated um all kinds of things can happen if you start stacking a row but um if you you know don't deal with it you play like two pfis and something drop her on the board when there's already eight on they're all going to move forward like a charge and then they're also going to attack just like you know that's that's what a a true um leader she's going to be just like uh brave heart she's just going to show up and william wallace all her dudes forward and then also too you can have like northern realms doesn't really have any movement synergy but you can like team this up with zoltan and play zoltan on the siege row pull three units back and then move them forward so it's like this constant you know you know moving forward army that you have if you don't deal with this and then every row every unit you place on this row afterwards it's going to constantly move up and and do some more damage and gain a little bit of strength um i just think that uh currently right now the like machine archetype is kind of just taking over and with the winch and everything i kind of knew that was going to happen when i seen what winch was going to do but um I feel that the soldiers and uh i mean you could use this with full test so you're you're buffing your guys and then you're buffing them again with julia um radovid i mean radovid's always good um you could even use this with um the cursed um i don't know if you maybe would have to change it to cursed or non-cursed units but if you, you played the revenants on this row they start growing drop it down they're going to move all those units are going to move forward and buff up again and then you also cleared that row out so you can possibly start you know another row of revenants um i just think this card's really this character seems really cool she just seems like a total badass and uh since she doesn't have a card yet i figured she needs to be added asap because she's uh she's definitely a a badass chick <laughs> um but uh but yeah those are the two cards i came up with for today um like always uh, let me know what you guys think and if you do have your own cards that you've made um send me a message on twitter or something and i'll review them i can't put uh links in my uh my youtube videos there's a couple people that like putting stuff in there that they shouldn't so unfortunately one uh, one rotten apple you know ruins the bunch so but uh if uh if you um send me a message on twitter i'll answer and uh you know if you want me to go over a card and shoot some holes in it or uh give it a thumbs up or thumbs down let me know but uh like always guys thank you thank you for watching i greatly appreciate it and we'll see you guys next time